So for the first part of this assignment today, you are going to Google a six by eight grid. Later, I found out that I only needed a five by seven. So if you want to Google a five by seven grid, that is also fine. I found one that was pretty clear, it had white behind it. That's important. Then I took it into sketchbook. I added a photo after I added a new layer. I added that grid photo, I made it big enough to fit it, and then I came over to the side on the layer options and I changed it from blend mode from normal to multiply. Then you can see through it. And that only happens if you have a white background and a black grid, okay? So then you can kind of zoom in and see all those little grids working for you so that you will be able to use it once you physically make a grid. So this is a very, very, very sped up video of me making a grid. Each one I marked at halves. So I did like one and a half, then three, then four and a half, then six, then seven and a half. So it ends up being a five grid by seven grid, but those are half spaces. So each one of those squares is a half or I'm sorry, a one and a half by a one and a half square, which ends up making a five by seven grid even. And I didn't have a, a ruler on hand, so I just used a straight level and also a measuring tape. Um, so that's five by seven. And you can see I X'd out of the grid marks that were on the one side because I don't need those. Okay, so it's going to be a five by seven. So I come back here and I readjust my five by seven grid. Now this is all I'm going to have you guys do today because the actual transferring of this is going to be long. So I'm just having you set up today. And it also gives you the opportunity to find paper. Um, you will be wanting to make the grid on a sheet of paper that works for you. I'm using printer paper. You guys can use whatever kind of paper you have at home, but it needs to be big enough to make um, a portrait size, about a eight by 11 sheet of paper is what you'll need. 